here, start the ball next to your knee. Um, use your hips as a driver to get a bit more power. So rock back and then forward as you pass. Focus on keeping your chest low over your front knee and getting your hands all the way through to target. Try and finish strong with your hands pointing towards where you want the ball to go. This is the exact same drill, but the ball just starts on your hip. To begin this drill, you want to cock your wrist and get your hand underneath the ball. This, when you, pa when you pass here, it will give you extra rotation and revs through the air to make it fly quicker. Make sure you finish strong. Try and clap as you finish, finish the pass. This is the exact same, but you just use two hands and make sure you finish strong to target. With your front hand on the ball here, you want to make a thumbs up sign and only use your thumb to spin the ball. This, like cocking the wrist, will give you more revs and more rotation through the air to make it fly quicker. Try and keep your elbows tucked and push with your triceps on this drill. When passing from the floor, you want to get your back foot as close to the ball as possible and then stay low and finish the pass. This is similar to the drill we did on our knee. We just want to make sure our back foot is as close, we stay low, chest over your knee, and you finish strong. This drill here is to simulate a messy rook. So what you want to do is get your foot as close to the ball as possible with your other foot further away to be able to explode away from the rook and then you want to have the ball on your hip. Get the ball to your hip so nobody can get in and grab your arms and then fire your pass and chase after it as quick as possible.